Good morning. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Hi, little baby girl. Hi, little baby girl. Oh my God, she's so sweet. Um, I'm about to head to yoga. Oh God, I don't wanna do this. It's 7.30 in the morning, but I'm trying to get back on my grind. I feel like I'm about 150 years old. My body is so stiff. So I am looking forward to having a nice stretch. I'm wearing the workout clothes I normally wear. These are actually Girlfriend Collective. I pretty much only wear Lululemon, Sweaty Buddy, Girlfriend Collective, and Outdoor Voices. I guess what else is there? <laughs> I'm not making sense, I'm tired. <laughs> this little queen has never been better. She hung out with her friend Georgie, who is a dog, and she has gained so much confidence. She's just like sitting on the couch now and snipping stuff. She's a beautiful girl. Yeah, you. I just had a shower, which felt amazing, and I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. Ooh, that light is very yellow. So I am just wearing this really comfy white fuzzy sweater, which I got from uh, and other stories the other day. I can't seem to find this exact one online. I might be able to, just take a look in the description box, but there are tons of them that are really similar. Um, and I've just tucked it into these trousers, which are from Topshop, and I absolutely love them. Um, you can't really tell in this light, but there are pleats on the front, which I normally try to stay away from, but I don't know, for some reason I really like this. Um, so that's what I'm wearing, and then of course I'm wearing my Unity Ring necklace from Daisy, all my Daisy jewelry as per normal. Um, so yeah. I'm just waiting for Sally to get here because I have a meeting with her. Sally owns a company called Behold Studios with her boyfriend and they're branding people, marketing people, they're really cool. Um, but more importantly, they're bringing their dog Georgie over. Now Georgie is the dog that stayed with Effie when I was away in Finland last week. And they got on like a house on fire. They were so cute and Effie's confidence has grown so much since being with Georgie. So Georgie's coming over, any excuse to see little Georgie? And they're gonna play together while Sally and I talk business. So Georgie has arrived. Effie is under the couch pretending that she's not here. No, I'm kidding. She's trying, she wants to come out and Georgie's been under the couch trying to get the party started. Hi Georgie. Hi Georgie, you little cutie. So Effie will be out any minute, I'm sure of that. Oh, the camera's out. Girls. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good girls. These two girls are going out for a stroll. Good girl, Effie. Yep, I'm still here. Good girls. <laughs> yeah, this is so fun. This is so fun. <laughs> I'm wearing a full-blown sequin gown. <laughs> Effie, I know this is not normal behavior for your mom. <laughs> so basically, my friend Jasmine Hemsley is launching, well, she's collaborated with Needle and Thread to make these amazing dresses and we're going to a dinner to learn a little bit more about the process and see the dresses and they sent everyone, I think, they sent everyone a dress before dinner so we're all gonna rock up wearing the dresses, which is fun. You've probably never seen me this dressed up in my entire life, but I absolutely love this dress. I believe this is the chakra dress, Effie. She's so cute. She had a great day today and I love it. I'm just not sure what shoes to wear with it because I don't really want to wear heels. I might wear trainers with it because I just wanted to dress it down a, li a little bit, but it is so beautiful. I wish I had an occasion in my real life outside of tonight's dinner to wear this. Really, really pretty. I originally asked for a size 10, which was a little bit big, so I exchanged it for an 8 just for size reference. I love it. It's so swishy, I especially love the bottom. 
Oh, Jasmine, you did a gorgeous job. I can't wait to see you. I need to touch up my makeup really quickly before I go out. Um, I think I'm gonna put a little bit I just feel like I need more coverage. I look so tired. New by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation. Is that right? Yes, I'm so tired, guys. I really like this foundation. I've been using it. I've been using and like kind of mixing shades together. I'm still not entirely sure which shade I am. I just feel like if I'm gonna be wearing a nice dress like this. Okay, I think this is the shade that's too fair. That's why I've been mixing. I feel like lately I'm really in between shades. This is 101 Warm Fair. So it's the same number, but a different kind of undertone. There we go. Oh gosh, guys, I'm in a real big hurry here. Right, okay, oh my gosh. Okay, I've basically done my base. I need to add a bit of bronzer, but um, I'm gonna use this Clay de Peau gloss in the shade Rose Pearl. I am so excited to use this. It's so pretty. Oh my god, that is so cute. I'm going all out with the dress, so I might as well go all out with the gloss too. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer. I'm using the Chanel 10. The Chanel, oh dear, which blush should I use? If I was brave, I would try to use this Glossier, the Cloud Paint and Haze, but I just find these so hard to apply. I don't know why. I know they're supposed to be really easy, but they're so, this one in particular is so pigmented and I can never get it to look natural. Oh my God. I knew this was a mistake. I knew it. Just gonna blend and smile. Blend and smile. You know what I, like, do you guys agree? I just find it so hard to get it even. And I think, Every time I think I'm gonna be able to do it and I never can. The lighter colors are easier, but this dark color I find is like quite hard. Actually, it looks kind of cute now that it's all in. Spray my face with a bit of this Fenty Beauty What It Do makeup setting spray. RMS Living Luminizer Highlighter. My favorite highlighter. I have been loving this Tom Ford eyeshadow palette. It's called 28 de la Creme, especially this color. So I'm just going to hair behind the ears, nice and sleek. Might add a little bit more gloss. Oh my gosh, I just got to the dinner and I have never seen anything like this. I just had to take a video before everybody sat down. It's so cool. See Jasmine. Okay, I'm like, oh wow. She's here. Oh, yeah. Congrats, Jasmine. This is Princess Jasmine from Aladdin. Yes, look at you. Is this part of the collection? This is part of the collection. Well, nobody's seen it because the party girl has it. It's no. so pretty. So this and is Levita Vader. So can oh you see? Gosh. Amazing. And Kingfishers, which represent my father who passed away five years ago, so it's a really personal thing. It's so gorgeous. Where can people get this? Um, you can go to neilandthread.com, so yeah. online, um, the collection has launched, and we were just talking about what's more popular. This is a very popular dress here. <laughs> that's the Shakra Rainbow. Oh, that's gorgeous. And this is one of the Shakra dresses that yes. Isaiah is wearing. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I can't believe I'm here talking about the dresses that I've helped design. Um, it really is a dream come true. I mean, someone who grew up on handy down dungarees from shorter cousins. Um, uh, and then, you know, in my 20s, I, you know, the fast fashion scene was just there. I never thought I'd be wearing something of such a beautiful craftsmanship, and it actually is an heirloom piece. You know, so working with England Thread to create a collection that, you know, not only the, the, the kind of how they take care of their teams in India, how they work, and, and their idea of making something to last in a world of fast, 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 cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, and then to take it one step further, and every time we met, we were kind of like, oh, we'll just do a little collection to go how far we can actually take this. 
and then they step up another mile and another mile and come back and have this amazing news that we've got the steep wind formula down and we've created this and we're doing it this way. And thank you so much for having me join the game for this. It's just really wonderful. The food has arrived and it is so yummy. It's all different stuff, mix and match, and it is delicious. Good morning from my naked face. I'm about to get a facial. I have come to relax. Is it relax or relax? I think it's relax. It's relax. <laughs> um, and that's gonna be where I'm getting my beautiful treatment done. I cannot wait. Are we doing acupuncture We're doing today? Acupuncture, yeah. <laughs> the last time you did that, yeah. I didn't. I don't know if I gave you the feedback, but it was amazing. Really? The results were insane. So I got acupuncture here on my forehead because I'm really like annoyed by these lines that I have, which are very small. But we did acupuncture, and I was honestly so shocked amazing. at how well that worked, and it lasted. Amazing. So it does last, and it de the results like develop. Yeah. So it has like instant and cumulative benefits. Honestly, it was like that or Botox, and I'm glad I went with that. <laughs> oh. But I definitely need a. I need to get it done again. I have some needles in my face. This is the worst angle ever. <laughs> I've also got some needles in my ear. Yeah. So the ones in your ear, it's called auricular acupuncture. So we're working on a few different points for general well-being. Mm -hmm. We've got your spirit gate, stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, kidney, liver, and mind mm -hmm. to release any worries. Then the ones in your face are predominantly... Um, targeting any concerns mm -hmm. such as like little blemish some fine lines this point is just a little bit relaxing a couple of acupuncture points again just all for general well-being cool. so these needles are called thrive needles they're three millimeters long they're pretty painless when they go in we put them in at an angle so that they're quite flat to the skin surface so they don't move or like feel scary mm -hmm. And they've created a micro trauma, which helps the skin or encourages the skin cells to rebuild themselves because they think that they've been mm -hmm. damaged. And really, they haven't. So it's great for like plumping out lines. Yeah. I mean, like I said, the results from the lines, like these obviously are the two lines. Um, it was amazing. So I should have done it before and after, you know. <laughs> so what this does, this is an electric tool that puts electric very localized into the skin and it's deep cleansing. It also increases the microcirculation to the area. It doesn't impact the top layer of skin, this. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make it dry or um, irritated or anything like that. It's working a little bit deeper down. So the places that products don't reach. I see. And it does not hurt, by the way, everybody. It's, it's just, it's, it's, you, it just feels like a little vibration. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. And then is this a cleanser? No. So what you've got on your skin is actually just like a very basic moisturizer. So it's called a cosmetic base. Mm -hmm. So there's not actually a natural product designed for this machine. So we just use this because it's natural and it's literally just a lubricant. Right. It's a moisturizer. You'll feel a bit hydrated, but we'll take it off after. Got it. And that's a wrap on this week's vlog. This week has been full of things. Don't look at my face. My face looked much better after my facial yesterday. Um, no, that was, that was two days ago now. Yeah, my face looked amazing, but I feel like it's, I'm just like got makeup all over and I'm just, it's been a, it's been a day, people. Next week's vlog is going to be amazing because my family is going to be in town. So stay tuned for a vlog with Kelly Lalonde. She's going to be coming to town. So that's it for now and I'll see you next week. Bye.